Good evening. Welcome to Bunny Ballistics. Satomi here. Uh, today we are going to be testing some more critical duty. Uh, but this is going to be in 357 SIG. They are 135 grain uh, projectiles. And uh, I know a lot of you guys like 357, as do I. So I was excited for this test. Um, I'm not feeling the greatest today, so we're probably going to be kind of short on intros, outros, all the other stuff, but yeah, um, I hope you guys do enjoy um, the rest of the video, so thank you. Alrighty y'all, so today we have our uh, 357 SIG Critical Duties. Um, they are 135 grain, and on the box it says they have a muzzle velocity of 1225. Um, I don't believe it says how big of a barrel. But that's what we got and this is kind of what they look like they're very similar to the nine except you know the neck down awesomeness of 357 all right and uh we're going to be shooting this out of our uh, p226 sorry i don't have it with me right this second um and that's going to be about a 4.4 inch barrel all right so let's get to uh the chrono testing, shall we? Okay, I know y'all are excited for this 357C uh, critical duty uh, 125 grain. We're gonna go ahead and do our chrono three shots and then we'll see what we get for stats out of there, huh? Twelve nineteen. Eleven ninety. And twelve oh nine. Alright, so here, this is our 357 SIG. Bear gel, 135 grain critical duty. Oh, so, doesn't want to focus too well, but there's the insert. That's about 11 inches in. We got the insert, and in our second block, there is the bullet. And this is about 15. So that looks like it expanded and did very well. Okay, onwards to the demo. Alright, and there's our 357 with denim. Uh, I'll have to show you that. I'll have to move that. Uh, so it's the second one back here. And it went, oh, almost 16. Maybe a little over 15 and a half. Did really well. Just like the other one, it lost its plug almost. It almost came all the way, but yeah. And let's move this so you guys can see. So that's what the wound channel looks like. Really freaking cool. Okay, so we'll pull these out and wash them. And uh, we'll see some weights and stuff. Okay, so let's see the weights. This is our uh, bare one. We have 134 about. Um, the plug is about a grain usually. I don't have that with these ones, unfortunately. They're still in the gel. 
like I said, I wasn't feeling the greatest, so there's a few things that aren't going to be perfect, like some of the other videos. Um, so that's pretty much on par with what it should be. And then we have our one through denim. And again, that's pretty much on par with what it should be. Because uh, the plug is a about um, a grain. So, so let's see what they look like. So this was our bear gel one. As you can see, it expanded very well. Really, really nice. And then we have the one through denim, which also expanded very well, to be quite honest. And if you look at them side by side, you can definitely tell that the denim slows it down because this one expanded, you can see. But yeah, let's get to the measurements now, okay? Okay, and this is our uh, bare one. And you can see uh, 0 0.595. It's about the biggest diameter. So let's look at what the uh, denim one did. And then this is our uh, denim, and uh, it was 0. 0.561 before it decided to uh, disappear on us, but yeah. Oh yeah, that was for our uh, 357 SIG um, critical duties. Um, I thought they actually did really, really well. Um, they both did about the same penetration, um, denim or not. And uh, yeah, I pretty pretty freaking good. Um, and of course, 357 sig. I really like that um, caliber, anyways. Um, so we're gonna kind of cut it there. Like I said, I'm not feeling the greatest. So I hope you guys um, sub, like, uh, make sure you comment. Uh, and uh, any voices you heard in the background was my boyfriend talking to his friends on whatever game he's playing. So um, thank you so much. I love you. Bye-bye.